Winners finals. Falcon versus Emoga. So I want to see how this one works out here because Emoga seems to think he's just about out of luck today. And it's looking like that might actually be the case. He's actually being edge guarded by like a human being. He just goes for the PK Thunder way out there, but he lands around. Okay, no, there's still plenty of luck left. The luck is still perfectly intact. Just enough distance on that. Oh. He's hovering out there. Stuck on this platform though. Falcon's really putting that pressure on, keeping him from getting back. Oh, really good back air, and that's going to uh, finish that first stock up. Up throw. Logo's got the ledge now. He actually absorbed the PK Thunder there. What? Okay, if that would connected, if that actually went through, I was going to lose my mind. That almost did, though. The PK Thunder, like, Falcon's getting a lot of health back, though. He just, he knows his PK Thunder's coming as soon as he's off stage, so. Gets that magnet out. Looking for the spike, too, man. Nearly had it. Getting aggressive here. He's trying to find that early stock. Excellent back air. Keeping him on the ledge. Emoga just trying to find his way back to stage here, but having a little bit of trouble. Oh, it sent him out. He should still be able to recover. Standing dodge from the PK freeze, gets in with the Nair. Falcon, even though he finds himself in a bad space a little bit there, just keeps it together. But Emoga able to find a pinpoint sweet spot forward air. It's going to take that stock. Falcon trying to fire right back with the up air, though. Got him on the ledge. Let's see if he can find the kill off of it. He's trying to find... Something baiting off those forward airs. Man, the frame date on that is just so good. And then the PK Thunder 2 chase on the missed tech. And Emolga is starting to rack up damage in this close range, with all these close range boxing going on. Like, oh, really good back air though. Catches them on the recovery back. Falcon covering those high options. Saying, I'm not letting you come back to the stage. You're going to have to fight from out there. And he is controlling the ground floor right now. Just not let him off of these platforms. And Olga just looking for a way back to the stage there. Finds it on Sweet Spot Fair, and he's back to neutral. But can he make anything happen with it? Got Almost got the kill with that forward air. Not quite, though. PK Thunder. I'm not even sure what happened with PK Thunder there. It bounced him out. It bounced him in. Ooh, standing dodge to the forward tilt. Yo, you're going to cover it. Forward air actually outspacing or outtiming the battle. I'm not sure which. PK fire right after the magnet. He saw the magnet come out, and he's like, all right, there's that back air coming. I'm going to pull back a little bit, catch the PK fire. But Falcon's got 66% to work with here. That is uh, a fairly sizable lead in this kind of game. Oh, just in time. Almost got nailed by that bat. Falcon looking for this early finish for the stock. He's like, I'm not trying to play this for any longer than I have to. Back air almost kills too, but somehow Amolga's still alive. Oh no, that's it. That's the back throw, and that'll be the first game going over to Falcon. Someone is uh, finally putting an end to this streak. Okay, game two, going to Lilat. And why am I not surprised this is where Emolgo would want to go? I can hear him yelling at me already. So far, though, Falcon still controlling the, the uh, pace of this game. Forward tilt to jabs. Interesting. Down air to jabs, or to down tilt to forward air. Okay. Emolga's starting to find his way into this match here. He's winning out on a couple of these interactions in neutral, but Falcon finds a way to keep it even. So safe on shield, that forward air into the forward tilt. 
up air through the stage. Not quite going to kill, but it is going to buy Falcon way back to the ledge here. And he's hovering, looking for that punish, looking for something. Amolga hits the back air, though. PK, Thun PK Fire actually kills on the... Outrange the back air and then kills with the projectile. Falcon, though, firing right back. Takes him off stage, hits that forward air. Back to a two-stock game here. PK Fire going to land, set up for the grab combo. That's going to be 33% right off the bat. But Imolga now controlling this neutral with these forward airs, man. That move is just so safe. And then the jabs to send him back off. And he's got the edge there. Good spike. No follow-up, but it did get him back. Imolga just, like, holding the ledge down with the uh, PK Thunder. But it's giving Falcon just something to... Giving him a minute to relax. He gets a little bit of health back. Doesn't have to worry about his recovery right away. There's a nobody wants to be the one to get hit here. Like it's just they're moving around each other, but no one wants to commit too hard. Air dodge on the bat, really good spacing, good timing. Volga looking for that PK freeze, but it's not quite gonna happen. Almost wow, that was almost like a lilac casualty right there. PK Fire gonna buy that space back and Amolga's got the ledge again. He finds himself with that PK Thunder out and that Magnet is ready to go from Falcon and now he's trying to avoid and not get it sucked up, but there's just not enough space for him to move around to make that happen. Wow, that was the PK Thunder chase on, on, a, on a bounce direction that shouldn't have happened to begin with. And then the air dodge afterwards basically forced out. And then because the move was relatively safe, he catches a forward smash on the air dodge. Like, are you kidding me? All right, that's sure. And now Amolga is just holding down this platform here and racking up percentage. PK Fire is going to land, though. That could be bad for Amolga. He's stuck off stage. He absorbed the PK Thunder, and that's going to take him down. He has no way back. That goes 2-0 over to Falcon.